Hello YouTube. I'm gonna show you my. Oh, come on. I'm gonna show you my new contraption to keep the to keep your houses safe so no people get in and that. Short and yeah, it's got codes on it or levers. I'd have to like this much now, and won't open because I've got a code. Huh? I thought the sound. Let's turn the sound off. Is my house in there? Got stone and stuff in there. Stone and stuff, and they're just random things there. Nothing good. <coughs> Long gear. It's not codes. Well, not lots and lots of codes, but you can just flip them. I won't do anything unless it's the right code. I know that the code is that's wrong. I know you can't hear any, any can't hear the Minecraft and like me walking and stuff. I've got some notes and that in there. I can't hear them because it's turned sound down. But it's quite good. It just is. It just won't well, only accept one pattern. Real the actual code is this. One and three. Ah. Now if you see the doors not open is because of a button there. Press that button and it opens. As you see there. Too laggy. Uh, here we go. And I'm in now. Seraphim, gourmet stuff, I ain't got anything to chest. Got me bed and stuff. You need to have an iron door because one door you can easily break and you can easily break one doors and you can open them without redstone. There we go. And you can't open it this way. without pressing the button I'll show you what's inside this giant room yeah that's the code if I just break some wall I'll show you. As you see, I've turned the currents into different lines, tried to separate them so they don't all just cling onto one redstone current. So if you press like, what, put down one lever, it'll light all of them up. Don't want that. So I've separated them as you can see and yeah and um, to give different codes you need these oh, let's and invert one it inverts it so, so as this one this one's off then it'll if 
this one right if this is on then this will turn off and then that won't emit redstone to the these lots of gates and that here some yeah like I said I had some note blocks right this one if it's off it's if it's off it will emit redstone quote so all of these torches are off but if you turn one on it'll load to the whole the whole thing so not just one of the um, gates if it torches are and that will turn on but others so like that too my down do it got that up and I've got that up so we're doing both and plus it will turn off go on yeah look now now that is on that turned off so in that case it'll turn off the redstone current which will activate the torch so then just stop it from stop this from being on so it won't do any current then it all gets what these gates actually do is we just we just get all of the season set oh, yeah. where it is all these gates will <coughs> will put it into one it takes two inputs and turns it into one output as if I can show you yeah two inputs so that's one and that's one there and them two will emit when both of them two on it will let this torch turn on causing oh, like, to turn the torch on causing the redstone here to activate this one which will then when both of these are active will turn to one. So it'll only output one redstone current to the door. Then there's another gate next to my house which will put the button in. So so it won't just open automatically when you've done this. And then hmm and it'll just emit currents and that this these two are not connected these two are not connected to each other just to tell you that may look like they're connected but they're not it's actually connected to this block here just to tell you that I was going to do it with buttons instead of levers, but it'll, it'll turn all this on and then turn it all back off. Because it's buttons, isn't it? It don't stay on. So I changed them. At the end, at the end I changed them. Right, I'll cover this up. I think it'll work, will it? Nah, I don't think it will. I know I had it wrong. Too laggy here. I 
just gonna flip all these up. What's up with it? Probably got all the programs running. Oh no. Let's turn one. It can be in any order, by the way, so you can, uh, you can do one first and then three, or three first and then one. It don't matter. Should work. Did it just change now? Then that will activate the redstone coming along this line here. What's inside here? I'll take it down up to here. Then this massive blocks all this here will just been gate there. Turn into a gate, so it's coming coming from the locking mechanism. We'll go along here. Well, we'll actually go through up there, down here, to there, to there, to there. Which we'll join onto that. Which will then, when both of them are active, because this is engaged to a button, then. Like I said, right, both of them was connected to a button, so then oh, 2.3 gig is gone. That's my hard drive there. Then now, right, and yeah, like I said, this one's connected to the button up there. And that is connected to the a lot there, which will make it so you have to press that button there to get to turn on. If you're going to make one of these, I suggest don't putting, not putting a button right next to the door there, because it can open the door although it's there, because it, it emits redstone and redstone can open the iron door within any block within it. So if I like placed a button here, this block, it will be, I can then have a current I can have like redstone coming out of any of these white areas when we put in down um, can get up. Any of these white areas can emit redstone current. Now I'll show you. So it can hit a redstone current within them white blocks. So look, if I put a current, a redstone there, and press the button, they'll light up. Put one there, not there. And 
will admit any of these redstone, including the one on there, if I can get it up there. Too laggy. I'll go in on there and I'll admit redstone current to any of those blocks. As you see, if I can just get to a position where you can see. You will also admit one forward and backwards, five. Days. How much lag? I'm trying to put a redstone there. Yeah, it will connect. And it's, you know, connected. So they didn't look like they connected, they connected. Just do that. Put redstone current there. I don't know why I've. Oh yeah, I've got one on top as well. Just remove the one on top so it don't interfere. And if I press the button, they'll all go off. So that is like the radius of that. So like I said, you don't want the button to be there because it'll be in the radius. Like I said, the radius is like there, there, behind that, up there, front and back. And so I'll go on the bottom, as you can see. That's just making me angry. So the lag. And so that is within that block radius. So that will trigger that off. Let me just do that. Start going off. Usually, yes, it's making me less laggy. Oh, laggy. Let me just see if I can switch a few stuff down. If I can, can I? Right, go to no. I'm wondering if that goes to the sink, but that's on tech it. So there you go, my version of a door what you need to put like a lock on it. I can put a lock on. It'll take some because if it's on like a server and we can't break blocks on it or anything, then this would be good because we wouldn't be able to get in. We wouldn't be able to break these blocks. But and they may not know the password because you may have like eight digits or nine digits or eight levers and stuff codes and they have like very powerful ones and they won't be able to break any blocks or anything so yeah like I said hmm won't be able to break anything or that so there you have it.